Hi everybody and uh, welcome to this session about product prioritization and how to use Craft.io to, to achieve that. Prioritization is at the heart of product management. I think everybody who's been working in product management for long enough knows that at the end of the day, the key role of product managers is to decide what, and more importantly in many cases, what not to build. To do that, um, teams apply many types of prioritization methodologies, including best, best practices from the market, as well as your sometimes uh, team's own secret sauce uh, in terms of formulas and, uh, and processes. All teams have prioritization methodologies, 100% of them. Otherwise, you, they wouldn't be able to decide what or what not to build. Sometimes it could be as uh, simple as importance field, high, medium, low, or blocker. Sometimes it could be based on effort. Sometimes it could be based on highest paid person's opinion. But in any case, there is always a way of doing, going about it. And it is critical to have a methodology and to have a way of uh, prioritizing because it really helps product teams with two things. One, take decisions and take decisions in a way that is uh, articulated and understood for uh, the people around them. And then two, communicate that those decisions in a way that is consistent and that makes sense for people. Eventually with product management, in many cases, the idea is not to always agree with everybody because uh, as you all know, uh, product managers in many cases make quite a few people unhappy or at least dissatisfied uh, because they don't get the features that they want. But uh, if you have a process for prioritization and it is clear, clearly articulated and clearly communicated, at least you can create a common understanding and to get uh, people to uh, get your way of doing things and uh, rally around that. So that's why we think prioritization is critical and that's why we built a very robust module within Craft uh, to help you with prioritization. Um, I'm going to start with Guru Views, which is a way, which is our collection of best practices and methodologies from the market. If you click into Guru Views, you'll see here on the left menu a prioritization, a prioritization collection, which basically gives you uh, a lot of prioritization methodologies we found in the market, which we thought were interesting. Uh, of course, we'll keep adding more methodologies as we uh, stumble upon them or as we read about them. And of course, feel free to reach out to us uh, if you feel like there's another methodology you want to you want to see on uh, on our Guru views. We're very happy to add it. I'm going to start with Rice prioritization. Rice is a very uh, famous methodology in a way. It's been developed by the product organization of uh, Intercom, uh, with and basically it includes in it uh, four components: reach, impact, confidence, and effort. Um, a bit of a history, RICE is a kind of a spin-off of a methodology called ICE, which was used by Navy SEALs, um, but it's fine-tuned better for uh, the product needs. Now, one of the beautiful things about Guru Views is when, uh, when you click on Add View, it basically creates all the custom fields for you, and it creates a view that is purely designed to apply the RICE prioritization. So I'm going to click on Add View, and there you go. We have now a table view kind of like an Excel spreadsheet, basically, which allows you to uh, look at all your, in this case, epics, but of course you can change your hierarchy and, and change your terminology, uh, as you might know, and, and basically grouping it by product. Uh, you don't have to group by product. I can cancel the grouping and then go to none, which means I'll see all the items in the system. This may also be a handy view if you want to look at it as an entire uh, product organization, whereas if you want to look at it broken down to the different product areas, you might want to use this uh, grouping. Uh, you can, of course, also filter by product, which means you'll be able only see the specific product that you want to look at. For example, if I click on web mobile apps, I just see the all the items that are on the web mobile app. Right. So let's go into the actual prioritization. As you can see, you have here uh, the fields reach, impact, confidence, and effort. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically type in things. And as you can see, as soon as I type them, the formula itself changes. Uh, the formula is uh, baked into the into the module here, and you can of course you know take new items here and just start adding. Reach, by the way, is how many people will be reached by the feature that you're building. In this case, I'm working on this logging screen. Um, it will be sixty thousand people. The impact is let's say five, six. Um, the confidence, my confidence level, as in how confident am I in those numbers, is around eighty percent. And then the level of effort, which is the effort required to uh, build this, is uh, let's say uh, eight. Uh, let's say eight out of a hundred, which is very low. In this case, I get a very high rice score, which is uh, thirty-six thousand. And of course, you can sort by uh, the rice score um, up and down, and uh, allow you to basically float the items that are more relevant or most relevant uh, to the top of the page. 
Now, uh, one of the things that you can see in rice is that it's quite numerical, uh, which means in many cases it could become quite subjective, especially with numbers like uh, impact and confidence. Reach is uh, usually a little bit more quantifiable, although it, it, it can also be um, quite uh, subjective in many senses, as well as, of course, effort, uh, which in many cases teams use uh, t-shirt size or anything else to, to, to assess the impact, to assess the effort. So for that, we have uh, added into the, score, into the system the ability to uh, create abstract custom fields and then uh, create uh, numbers attached to them. I'm going to show you how to do that, for example, with impact and effort. So let's say instead of impact uh, as a number from 1 to 10, I want to just create an impact high, medium, low. The idea being, you know, users, your product team colleagues, it's very hard for them to define between a six or a seven, but high, medium, low gives a, bit, a, a, better, a bit of a better sense of, uh, of impact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the plus button and add a custom field. It's going to be a single selection custom field, obviously, and I'm going to call it impact um, high, medium, low. And I'm going to add uh, three values, high, medium, and low. And I'm going to apply numerical values. This is the magic button that allows you to connect uh, a value from, a, in this case, a, a label like HML to a, an actual value. And this case will be 10 for high, 5 for medium, and then 2 for low. Once I hit save, I have the field here and uh, you, my team or myself can basically go and select high, medium, low. All, all that is left for me right now is to go into the actual formula and edit the custom field. And instead of um, using impact, I'm going to swap it with impact, high, medium, low. And that's it. So now all, we, all that is left to do uh, is to use the selector here. You can see the right score here um, as zero because basically it's uh, not yet scored. And if I apply high, it will go back into 70. And if I apply medium, it will go into 35,000. And of course, you can to make this clean, you can basically remove or hide this column called impact and, and drag this high, medium, low impact into the, into the table view. And now you have high, medium, low impact. Similarly, I might want to use instead of effort t-shirt sizing. So I'll go here. I'm going to click on add custom field, single select. I'm actually going to use, in this case, a guru field. Core fields um, are handy uh, fields that we found in product management. In this case, I'm going to use t-shirt size. Uh, it's a funny one because basically it's you know, instead of sizes, it's actually the number of number of t-shirts. Um, so this is like small, medium, large, and extra large. And each of the values attached to them is one, two, four, and eight. It's ready for you. And all I click, now I click save. And I am uh, similarly going to basically connect into the rice uh, formula instead of effort. I'm going to connect t-shirt sizing and click on save. And that's it. And now what I need to do is add the t-shirt sizing and I'm going to see immediately the impact on that. Let's expand this column so you can see that. That's RICE, um, a very, very popular methodology. And there's a lot of articles about it. Um, so feel free to read, of course, um, and, and educate yourself on it. Um, however, in many cases, teams would want to use a slightly less um, numerical and quantif quantitative uh, methodology, but rather something a little bit more uh, qualitative or conversational. Uh, for that, uh, I like using uh, Moscow. Moscow is a very nice project methodology, which is basically must have, should have, could have, and won't have. You can see it here as a Kanban board, uh, basically with the columns, and in other, you see all the items that are not yet mapped into any, any one of those. With Craft, what you can do is like, go one by one into the other bucket, click into it, read the description, read, you know, go through it, read all the custom fields, understand a little bit better, have a discussion with the team, realize, potentially define for yourself criteria for what is a must have versus what is a should have, a could have, or a won't have. And then once you're done, just drag it in the right place and, and that's it. And as you continue to do that, you'll basically be able to see um, all your items uh, broken down into must have, could have, should have, and won't have. And then of course, uh, that helps you with prioritizing, uh, starting with the must haves and then moving to should haves could have and won't have uh, in that order, which, by the way, from a, if you want to visualize this uh, afterwards, what you could do uh, is create a table view. Once you've done your prioritization with Moscow, you can create a table view and actually group things by Moscow, um, which would allow you to basically see must have, should have, could have, and won't have in order. 
this allows you to afterwards, if you want to start building your releases based on those fields, uh, allowing you to do that uh, in a very easy way in the table view. So those are two uh, classic prioritization methodologies. As I've mentioned, there's quite a lot more uh, here in the prioritization collection. Uh, WSJF for uh, the safe practitioners among us. Um, feature bucket, which is um, from the uh, Mr. Nash from the uh, Dropbox product organization, which basically breaks down the world into metric movers, customer requests, and customer delight, and many, many more. I recommend that you read uh, about it and uh, educate yourself on it. And of course, with Craft, you're able to work in multiple methodologies as well. You don't have to use a specific one uh, for the entire team. Some team members can use one methodology and others can use another one. I've also mentioned uh, that one of the things that you can do is build your own methodology. And that's, of course, uh, very doable uh, with uh, formula fields. So all you need to do is uh, create custom fields with uh, numbers, any custom field with a number. This could be a parameter one and it's basically a simple number and then you add also parameter two and all i'm going to do now is just build a formula with um with using the formula field which will be priority scoring and it will basically be parameter one plus parameter two. It's very simplistic. I just want, I'm doing this for the sake of example. And of course, you can also use weights for the specific parameters. And once you click save, you'll have this, you have this uh, formula and you can just come in and fill in the blanks and it will, it will build your prioritization methodology. And of course, you can also build, as shown earlier, uh, use abstract fields uh, like high, medium, low, and then assign values to them and, uh, and then add them. There's a lot of trick, tricks and tips uh, in our help center and in our uh, blog around prioritization. So feel free to go there and uh, read a little bit more about it. Um, but that's kind of what I wanted to show from a prioritization perspective. I hope uh, you found this uh, helpful. Um, if you have any questions or any thoughts, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're always here. If you click on the question mark here and contact support, You'll see this uh, nice uh, chat that will allow us to uh, reach out to us. So feel free to reach out uh, whenever uh, you need any help. And I hope you have a great uh, prioritization.